Okay, uh, good afternoon everyone and uh, uh, welcome to this uh, uh, short session where we have winners from what we call Center Teaching Professionals Olympiad meet uh, a, a legend from the world of sports. Uh, before we uh, invite the legend on stage, a quick note about Center and Teaching Professionals Olympiad. Center for Teacher Accreditation, Center, uh, is a teacher certification in entity which uh, tries to uh, assess and certify teacher competencies and connect outstanding teachers to a range of rewards, recognition, career growth, and so on. Teaching Professionals Olympiad is our annual competition for teachers, which is held in India and UAE. It's held across 50 locations, and teachers from more than 2,000 locations participate in this competition, traveling to one of the 50 locations where it's held. Um, and uh, uh, we are very glad uh, that a number of world leaders across fields have, over the years, supported Teaching Professionals Olympiad. And today we have with us cricketing legend Brian Lara. Uh, sir, please, uh, if we could have you on stage. So most of us here are, are from India or with some connection back to India. And uh, to that extent, uh, I think it's safe to assume that uh, this audience is filled with, uh, with fans, like myself. And, uh, uh, and we, are, we are extremely uh, grateful that uh, Mr. Lara is uh, here with us today to speak a little bit about maybe excellence, uh, maybe the role of teachers in, in his life, and then uh, felicitate our winning teachers. So over to uh, Mr. Brian Lara. Oh, thanks. Thank you very much. Um, my mic is working, right? Yeah? <laughs> good, good, good. So um, it's, it's a pleasure to be here again uh, at the GSF. This is my third year. and. Um, you know, my brother Richard uh, got an email from someone um, at Center, and uh, he sort of arranged my, he's not my agent, but he sort of arranged that I meet this group of teachers. It's very, very important. Now, my brother, um, I'm one of 11, um, number 10. So we actually had our own cricket team. <laughs> All right. Um, but I'll give you a little bit of background. Um, I, first of all, uh, passed a secondary school after finishing my, my primary education. And after one year at a secondary school, my dad felt that um, it was just very sport oriented. And uh, he felt that I was not going to get what I needed on the educational side. And um, he took it upon himself to go to a college and uh, get an interview uh, for me um, to go to this college, a very prominent college in Trinidad and Tobago, a very prominent college as well in sport. And um, when we were doing the, when I was doing the interview, my dad, who was sitting next to me, said to the teacher that uh, my son is going to be a great cricketer. And the teacher said, I don't want a great cricketer. And my dad said, my sentiments exactly. <laughs> and that was the first time I actually started studying a lot about my education. I was very uh, predominantly a sports person at school. And when I went to Fatima College, a lot of emphasis was placed on my education. I was not the brightest kid in, in class. But I realized that I had, to, I had to improve as a person. I had to improve my education. My sport was looking after itself. But if I wanted to become an all-wrong person, I needed to do well at, at my education. Now, fast forward, you know, I, I played for the West Indies for many years, as you guys would know. Um, had had a, a pretty decent career. Um, but one thing that I'd, I'd have to say, though, that... Um, what made me a finished product, I felt, was uh, the little bit of education that I took up. As I said early on, my cricket was pretty much there. I was gifted with a talent. But I felt as I, I, as I grew, as I, I started to encounter hurdles, I felt the education side of it is what really got me through. Now, today, I wouldn't be here in front of you today if I didn't have a decent background in education. I look back now, um, I left school something like... Uh, I don't know, some like 30 years ago. And I remember every single teacher. I don't remember every single classmate that I have, but I remember every single teacher in school. Mr. Harry Ramdas, my English and, and, and sports teacher, Mrs. Hubbard, uh, Mr. Pantin, 
every single one that played a significant part in my life. So, as there is a saying that sport and education is the key, I don't believe so. I believe that the people behind sports and education are the key people. I think if you have talent and you're left to run with that talent, yes, it could come to something p positive, but a lot of times it just runs and nothing happens with it. If you don't have that parent, that guardian, that teacher in school to guide you as an individual, right? I believe that nothing is going to become of your talent. So today I'm sitting in front of, I understand, some very um, amazing teachers in maybe rural areas in India, maybe urban areas as well. I'm not exactly sure. But let me tell you something that I have the utmost respect for all teachers. They're not, it's not a glamorous job. You know, you don't get, you know, the prize at the end of the day. You see students go on to become prime ministers. You see students go on to become sportsmen and sportswomen. Um, all sorts of different things. And you sat in the background there. And I'm almost sure that you know that you've played a significant part in each and every single one life. I, for one, have a lot to be thankful of, of just, not just for my parents or my siblings, but for my teachers. Teachers who spend time um, volunteering out on the field. My English teacher, as I said earlier, Mr. Ramdas was our sports teacher. Today, when I see him, you know, I look up to him and I smile because he knows and I know that you know, where I came from and what I have achieved had a lot to do with his influence. So, in ending, I just want to say that you've got to keep your head up high as a teacher. You have a great responsibility in shaping the future sportsmen and sportswomen, in shaping the future politicians, in shaping uh, future professionals in all different disciplines. And I want to thank you very much for, for the effort and to continue aspiring to continue working really hard to make sure that students like myself, you know, reach to the, the potential that they, they could. So thank you very much for, for having me, and I look forward to getting some questions, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And am I audible? Yeah, now I am. Thank you for your inspiring words, and uh, also for uh, telling everybody that teachers matter. We already know that, and occasions like these uh, reinforce that what all of you do makes a huge difference to the world that we are living in. And with that, we'd move forward with the felicitation ceremony, and I would invite each teacher one by one to receive your uh, certificate uh, from Mr. Lara. So I'll start with Ashwini Chikmat. Ashwini, please come on stage. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Huh. yeah. So Ashwini is one of our top five national toppers. And she is also the topper in, uh, sorry, which subject? English, right? Yeah. So middle school English, she's got the first rank. And so therefore, as part of being the top five national topper, Ashwini gets the cash award of rupees one lakh. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the certificate for her, as well as for organization that she works for, which is Teach for India. Thank you. I think this as well? Yes. Thank you. That's OK. I think you're you. dead with this more than me. <laughs> Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. I'd like to also mention at this point that Ashwini is also recipient of Reliance Foundation Teacher Award, as uh, all of you are, uh, along uh, with the certificate and the uh, cash award. There is a citation from Reliance Foundation. Okay. Next, I would like to invite Lakshmi Murthy from Base Educational Services Private Limited. Uh, Lakshmi is the subject topper in senior secondary biology. I tried my luck at biology, but I wasn't very good. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have a teacher like Lakshmi. How was that standard His son wants to know how I felt when I scored 400. Um, well, I must say that uh, it was. It's working. Oh, it's working. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, is it off now? No, just hang it. Okay. You could use the hand mic if you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, um, her son wants to know how I felt when I scored 400. I, of course, it was an amazing feeling. Uh, first of all, uh, I suppose 10 years before that, that was in 1994 when I scored 375. As a young man, I, I never knew that I can reach to those heights. And um, it was pretty much an amazing feeling, you know, to be the first person to, to break Sir Garfield Silver's record, which was around 36 years. Um, nine and a half years later, Matthew Hayden came and he broke my record and he scored 380. And I felt that there's no way I'm going to get to score that runs again. But uh, I know, unfortunate for him, six months later, I went on to score 400. <laughs> and um, it was just an amazing feeling. But I, I felt that, um, you know, if you put in the hard work, if you do everything that you need to do, and you just go with the flow, things happen. So I wouldn't say that I really planned scoring 400, but I did put into the, the work to do so. So tell your son, as long as he puts the work in, you never know where it's going to lead him to. Yeah. Hard work is the secret. OK, next I would like to invite Shweta Singh. She is the subject topper for senior secondary chemistry. Congratulations, Shweta. From. Uh, So how did I manage uh, being a teenager with a lot of success? Well, actually, I didn't have a lot of success as a teenager. I was at school, and um, yes, I, I did pretty well at my cricket, and maybe the, the top cricketer um, at school level. But you know what? At that age, you just sort of use whatever success as a stepping stone. My dream was always to play for the West Indies. And my opportunity did come when I was uh, 18 and 19. Uh, I got into the squad then. But I got into a team that was the best cricket team in the world. And it took me a couple of years, apprenticeship, you know, carrying the towel, cleaning the boots to get, you know, I mean, the great guys like Sir Vivian Richards, Gordon Greenwich, Desmond Haynes, all those guys were there. So it took me a couple of years to come in. And I felt that um, it was maybe the best uh, time that I had in the team in terms of acclimatizing, getting accustomed, understanding what professional cricket was all about because that's what I did when I was in the team. I learned exactly what it took to become a true professional from all those great players. So for me, my teenage years was really like a stepping stone to, to future things. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Next, I would like to invite Kumar Saurav from Usha Martin World School, Patna. He's the winner in senior secondary maths. Sorry. Uh, sorry? Uh, okay. okay, I think we'll move we'll, on to the we'll next uh, person. Is Lokesh here? Okay, excellent. Uh, I would like to invite Lokesh on stage. Lokesh is the subject topper in middle school maths. And Lokesh is from Edugini in Guwahati. Yeah. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite Rupa Shri from Delhi Public School, Bangalore South. She is the subject topper in secondary school biology. There. So there's a certificate for Rupa, and there's a certificate for her school. I have a message from my school teachers, over 400 teachers in my school, and they all are a big, big, big fan of yours. <laughs> well, I, I want to tell them through you to please take back the message that um, at some point in time when I'm next in India, I'm actually in India in, in the next uh, week or two for the IPL, and um, hopefully I would get to, to meet them at one of the venues. So again, congratulations to you. I use, you, you're flying the flag for them, and I wish them all the very best. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, and each of the subject toppers, by the way, uh, also has a cash award of 25,000 uh, rupees, which uh, will be given subsequently. Next, I would like to invite Richa Bhatia. She's from New Horizon Public School, Indiranagar, Bangalore. 
and she is the subject topper in secondary school chemistry. So there's a certificate for her and there's a certificate for her school for her special achievement. May I now invite Sumit Mandwani from Shiv Nadar School, Noida, to please come on the stage. He uh, is uh, getting this for topping the senior uh, secondary school economics track. Sorry. Next, I would like to invite uh, Jayati Thakkar. Jayati has uh, one uh, or she is the subject topper in two subject tracks. Uh, one is middle school science, and the other is the primary school uh, subject track. So congratulations, and here are both the certificates. Next, I would like to invite Ashwin Guha. Ashwin, again, uh, is uh, winning two subject tracks. One is for middle school maths, and the other one is for secondary school maths. He just said I was better than Sachin. <laughs> <laughs> May I now invite Akash Tyagi from I Teach Pune? Yeah. Akash is the subject topper in middle school social studies. Next, I would like to invite Maya from Vimla College, Trisur. Maya is the subject topper in senior secondary English. So there's a cert sorry, yeah, there's a certificate for Maya and one for her college. Maya, we don't care if you drown in the Arabian Sea, but come back with photos and autograph of <laughs> Lara. So, so, yes, huge fan base there, and it's an honor. Thank you very much. You. Next, may I invite Anuja Chavan from Charkop Gaon Marathi School, Mumbai. She's the subject topper in the primary track in the Marathi language. So in TPO, we have uh, uh, regional languages also uh, as part of the competition. So besides English in primary, we have Hindi, Marathi, Tamil, and Telugu. And Anuja is the topper in the Marathi track. And uh, Anuja is a teacher from uh, Maharashtra government, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, in addition to uh, leading private schools from across the country, uh, you know, or schools from, from all over, uh, urban, rural, et cetera, we have a bunch of government school teachers participating in TPO every year. And uh, this year, I think we had participation from 20 different uh, governments in India. Uh, and uh, one of them is the government of Maharashtra. And Anuja is a topper from there. In fact, the next two teachers that I'm going to invite are again from the government schools. So the next, I would like to invite Mr. Mohammed Ashif from Department of Basic Education, Muzaffarnagar. He's the subject uh, topper in the primary Hindi track. And this is a certificate for uh, his department for the May I now invite uh, Thota Srinivas for his uh, win in the primary track for Telugu. So this is the certificate for Mr. Srinivas, and this is the certificate for his school. Thank you. Uh, I would like to invite on stage now Pinky Tanwar, uh, who was the primary Hindi medium track topper for 2017 and uh, could not make it last year and GESF very kindly invited her again this year and uh, yeah.
and, and by the way, also holds a rank in TPO 2018. Is Kumar Saurav here? Uh, no. Okay. Um, uh, Shaza Akhtar? No, I think both of them are not here. Okay. Atinder Singh Sethi? Okay. Uh, I would like to invite Atinder on stage now. He is uh, one of the, uh, he's the second rank holder in UAE. So besides India, we uh, conduct the Olympiad in UAE also, and he's the winner of the UAE region. Uh, and uh, would also like to uh, thank our primary partner in UAE, which is Telal uh, Institute. Yeah. So uh, I think with that, we come uh, to the end of felicitating the teachers. So I would like to thank you again for being here uh, and felicitating the winners of Centre Teaching Professionals Olympiad. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Varki Foundation for giving us this opportunity to bring the teachers, winning teachers from India, and uh, help us in getting them felicitated by Mr. Lara. Varki Foundation has been a supporter of Centre Teaching Professionals Olympiad for the last four years, and we are very grateful for their support in uh, making teaching a very aspirational profession, a very honored profession, and we continue to look forward to their support in the future also. Thank you. Can I uh, invite all the winners uh, on stage for a group photograph with Mr. Lara, if that is okay?